All right, tie-dye fans and fannies, or fanettes if you prefer, we're back here at the Banana Plantation on the front porch, and we're going to do another in the, si in the series of tie-dye videos. This is going to be a technique I picked up from the Dharma Trading site. That would be D-H-A-R-M-A-Trading.com on the Internet. It's going to be known as Ice Dyeing. What I've got here in this bucket is a couple of shirts that have been soaked in soda ash solution already. So you ask Billy, what, what, what do you use the soda ash for? Well, you use the soda ash for stopping the dye reactions. The uh, soda ash prepares the shirt or garment, whichever you're using, for to accept the dye. So you have to absolutely have to use soda ash solution somewhere in the process. Here, I've used it at the beginning. I've soaked the shirts in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these shirts and lay them out on these racks here, like this. And then I'm going to lay ice over these shirts. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I've removed the rubber bands from these shirts to help the ice when it melts along with the dye seep, seep through the shirts. I got pretty good results from removing the rubber bands on a couple of shirts I did yesterday. And as always, these are experiments, so um, I got pretty good results. I will show you the end result at the end of this video. Now what we're going to be doing is using powdered dye. Here I've got a whole whole food bag full of powdered dye and the respirator. You have to use a respirator. It is highly advisable to use a respirator when you're dealing with powdered dyes. So either get yourself a dust mask or a good respirator. You can get these from Dharma Trading also and wear it while you are applying the dyes. What I'm going to do is set up the tripod for the camera so you can see what I'm doing and go across the street and grab a couple of bags of ice out of the freezer over there. Okay, what I did was I placed, I went across the street and got a bag of ice and placed ice on top of this shirt over here. I'm going to go ahead and place ice on top of this one now. Okay, what I went ahead and did was put all the ice on top of the shirts and I also had a couple of pairs of socks that I had soaked in the soda ash solution plus a long sleeve thermal top woman size down here in the bottom too. That's going to catch the drippings and those will die also. What I'm going to do, go ahead and do right now is put on the dust mask and come back and start applying dye. Hi. Grape, the grape, where's the grape?
Yes, it does look like a mess right now, that's for sure. That's what I thought yesterday when I did this. It's like, man, this is going to be messed up. But I got quite good results. So what I'm going to do is put a lid on this thing. I do have a big plastic lid for this big plastic bucket here. And I will set it over here on the front porch and come back in about 24 hours and wash them out. Like I say, this is the ice dyeing technique that I picked up from the Dharma Trading Company off their website, dharmatrading.com. Using powdered dyes, always use a respirator when you're doing things like this, and I really shouldn't be standing here since there's probably still free-floating dye in the air. But I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it, and we will be back. All right, we're back on the front porch of the banana plantation. It's 24 hours later. And welcome to the thrilling conclusion of the Ice Dyed Shirts and Socks video. This is what it looks like. Got a pretty dark mess down there in the bottom, but it will not affect the coloring on the shirts down there. These are the two that I covered with ice yesterday and applied powdered dye to. What I'm going to do is take this all into the kitchen and wrench them out into zinc in cold water. Use cold water to rinse and then I will wash in warm water or hot water and we will be back shortly. Alright, payoff time now. Here are the socks I did the other day with the ice dyeing technique. Two pairs of socks. They came out pretty good. I can't complain about these. Other than the fact that these are the cheap socks and the feet here are heathered. If you use a hundred percent cotton sock from Dharma Trading Company, you'll probably get better results, but these are your standard Walmart socks, and I can't complain. Like I said, these came out pretty good. Next up, the shirts. And this is the extra large shirt from the ice dyeing technique. A little psychedelic here. The colors are a little bit less, uh, they're, they're slightly muted. More of a pastel effect. This is using powdered dye and the ice dyeing technique. I think this one came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And here's the large shirt from the ice dyeing technique. And I have no complaints with this one either. I like it a whole lot. These are uh, both a spiral or a hurricane type design, mainly because that's what I had tied up at the time. And this worked out really well. You can also do other designs and plus scrunch the shirts too. And like I said before, if you are using powdered dye, please use a dusk mask or a respirator for your own good health. This has been the ice dyeing technique tie-dye video from Banana Plantation Tie-Dye.